And so the total. Wife, I apologize. <laughs> About a year and a half ago, in the same location here, we shot the first ever video for this car on the Crew TV channel. The car has went a very, very long way since that day. It has went through a huge transformation and being here in the same location, but with the car now finished, feels surreal. It is absolutely amazing. So first up and foremost, I'd like to thank all of you guys for keeping along with the build. Thank you very much for the support. You have absolutely kept me motivated and I feel like together we will have a pretty fun year ahead. But now to this video. During this entire build, I have been making a painful yet very important list of every single cost that has went into the car. So I could show you guys the realistic side of a build like this. The car isn't anything fancy, but it has went through a proper maintenance. I have serviced most of the things that I could on the car and it is ready to race. So give me a guess. How much do you think the total build has cost on the car, including the purchase of it? Write it down in the comments and then let's see how close you are. I will give you the total amount at the end of the video. Uh, by the way, I have divided all the costs of the build in four main parts. First of all, we've got the car itself, then we've got the shell of it, so welding and similar things, maintenance of the car as it was, then the suspension because a lot of money went into that, same thing with the brake system, then the exterior modifications of the car which didn't take that much money, more of a timely investment but still, there are some costs so those are to be added to the list and then some miscellaneous things that I didn't know where to add on. So let me open up my phone and uh, get started. So the first investment of course was purchasing the car itself. I bought the car running in a terrible, terrible condition. It was basically ready to be parted out and sent to the scrapyard. And for some whatever reason, I decided that today would be a good day to save on a BMW. I bought it for 950 euros. The car was running at the time. It had tech inspection that was about to run out and that's about it. It had a running engine and that's basically what I paid for. Other than that, the car was an absolute mess. I had to send it to the welder to reinforce the rear subframe, install new mounting points for the rear lower trailing arms, weld the floor, weld new arches in there, weld in a new rear right corner of the car because it had been crashed. So that came close to 750 euros. Adding to that were materials. So 40 euro for two new rear arches, 35 euro for a subframe reinforcement kit. And then I bought a used bootlet for 15 euro, bought some spray paint for about 30. And then I spent five euros on a door handle mechanism as the one of the car was broken. And then I had to buy another one for 10 euro because the first one turned out to be broken. Moving on to maintenance of the car. The person I bought the car from was sketchy to say the least and it was visible that the car needed a maintenance urgently. So we started things off with a new air filter for about 15 euros, 10W60 model engine oil, 60 euro for that, a new valve cover gasket, 25 euros, 20 euro for spark plugs, 22 for a new turn signal relay, all kinds of light bulbs came close to about 20 euro, a new thermostat housing for 20 euro, a new water pump for about 60, a thermostat itself, 15 euros for that, 20 euro for diff oil, 10 euros for distilled water, 24 for thermal switch, an accessory belt pulley was about 20 euros, the accessory belt about 10, and then we had to buy a new radiator, which was the proper size for this model, which was close to a hundred. Onto the suspension, this is where we get into the drifty components. Uh, so uh, first of all, the biggest purchase and the most important one was probably a rear subframe with the uh, poly bushings installed in it already because the previous one, by the way, was broken. Like literally there was a crack in it. So a used rusty but functional rear subframe with poly bushings in it, 70 euro for that. I bought a pair of used Bilstein B14 rear shock absorbers for 80 euros, poly shock absorber top mounts for 35, poly shock bushings for 30, what else do we have here? Rear anti-roll bar bushings, 20 euros. Adjustable control arms, boom, 65. Front lower control arm bushings, 40 euros. Up front, we're rocking a set of Kony front struts with Plaza Sports cartridges installed in them. 
and on the top a uh, set of PMC adjustable top mounts for both camber and caster and of course some sort of 14k front springs not sure what brand are those but that entire assembly together only cost me 130 euros so that was probably the biggest steal of um, of the entire build onwards we go to the brake system the brakes on this car were straight trash like the handbrake was barely functioning on a wet track so that draws a picture we started off with uh, new brake lines underneath the car that was about 50 euros new rear hub bearings 90 euros for caliper restoration kits for all corners of the car of course 40 euro for that a set of brembo max rotors 200 euro for both axles those are combined with ata original brake pads 60 euros for those and a new rebuild kit for the handbrake about 40 euros and since the car did not have an exhaust when i bought it i bought a stock m50 b25 exhaust for 50 euro that was a pretty decent deal and uh, the 293 welder div that was on the car was a no-go so i bought a 323 unit for 80 euros now to the exterior side of things i bought a pair of m sport side skirts those came to 30 euro the stickers on the car so that's basically all of the livery that has been put on the car was pretty cheap actually about 60 euro for that in total i think i've spent about 30 euro on spray paint so that's for the sides of the car the rear arches and whatnot so let's just round it up to 50 and uh, keep it there the wheels <laughs> now this was a good deal so the wheels in total pol with polished lips and whatnot came to 195 euros which uh, is pretty darn good on the front tires i'm experimenting right now i bought some super super cheap chinese front tires up front uh, those were 84 two euros for a pair and those by the way are working pretty fine for me so far even on wet pavement and on top of it all let's throw in about 100 euros more for miscellaneous labor there are most definitely some little things here and there that i may have forgotten but i think that's about it no it's not so i also bought a uh, adjustable sport seat which was about 60 euro and with the help of my friend we managed to install it i should have paid for labor my friend helped me out so that's in the car thank you martins i really do appreciate it so what do you think that all comes down to well, i will i will quickly calculate it certainly not in my head and let you guys know in a minute so while going through the list i found two more items that i didn't notice first of all i bought a pair of 933 motorsport strut braces front and back those were 140 euro for both of them and of course on the boot we've got a very very beautiful uh, spoiler wing call it as you wish but that was 100 Hey guys, so before I reveal the final price to you, I also ask the same question to my Instagram followers, and here are their answers. Uh, by the way, if you want to take part in activities like this and have quick taps onto the build, make sure you follow my Instagram at crewtdg. I'll see you there. But now, back to the reveal. And so the total. Wife, I apologize. <laughs> the total costs of this car have been at least 4185 euros there are definitely some minor things that i have forgotten so i'd say we can safely round it up to 4.3k let's say but no let's let's keep it at 4.2k for now that's with me spending a lot of time working on the car learning a whole lot of things so that kind of goes hand in hand but 4.2k do you think it was worth it well it's very obvious that i could have straight up just bought a better functional car saved a whole lot of time saved some money but now i know for sure that all of the things that i've done to it have been done properly well not the ones done by me but the items installed in the car are brand new or in good condition and the car is ready for battle so 4.2k what do you think was it worth it and also, I've got a very important question for you. If you have sticked around this far into the video, first of all, thank you. If this was your car, if it was sitting outside in your driveway, what are the next modifications you would do to it? Look at the car, what do you think it's missing? And what should be the next stage, I believe? 
let me know in the comments. Make sure you press like to the video to tell YouTube that this is decent content, as uh, that would help tremendously to grow the channel and um, show the video to more people. So feel free to share. Don't forget to subscribe if you want to see more content like this. And the next time I see you, we will be on the track in our next drift practice. Thank you for being here with me, guys. Good luck on your builds and see you next time. Bye-bye.